Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number one of a brand new league, the Team Battling League, the TBL. And this is going to be a brand new concept. Basically, we are each going to be a team. And this also means that we're going to have a brand new logo, a brand new team name. We're going to be the Texas Education Agency because I'm here with my partner in Vivid Color. Oh, hey YouTube, what's really good? Uh, my name is Vivid, I'm from Texas, and Root likes to make fun of the Texas education system, so we are the Texas Education Agency, and we are co-coaches of the TBL. Hello. Right, and so essentially the concept is we're each going to build together against a, another team, and everything is going to be pretty standard, and, and everything is going to be uh, as it normally would be, except we are going to basically be ghosting each other and playing this game together. So I'm just going to get right into the team preview, but um, again, basically all, all of the decisions are, are going to be made, to, made together, and uh, all of our matches will be alternating between our two channels. So right off the bat, all right, let's look at this team preview. Okay, uh, right off the bat, we the first mod is the Alolan Persian, which uh, was definitely dubious to come, but we do see the Persian, uh, the Drill Gigalith combo, a Rotom Wash, a Rotom, a um, Runiclus, and a Hitmontop. So let's see, the, uh, yeah. did not bring the Togekiss. Okay, no Togekiss right. is bananas to me. Uh, no Decidueye, which is fine. No Rebombi is interesting, and no Drop and Haunter as well. This also makes uh, Delmize pretty solid. I mean, Delmize was kind of always our lead, right? Theoretically. Um, it's, I mean, a little bit less so because I feel like a, an Alolan Persian lead feels somewhat likely to me. Um, not the most likely, but moderately likely. Um, I don't know what Even he would want to lead off. I, I mean, I, I mean, it feels like as much, it feels like as much of a lead as Gigalith or Rotom would be, especially when it can, uh, knock off items and parting shot out. Right, right, right. So does that change anything for us? Also, we're running out of time. Uh, I mean, it's Delmize or Rotom. I don't think you can lead Rachi in the face of like a Persian, theoretically. So. All right, all right. Let's just go with our dedicated lead. Uh, I think that makes the most sense here, presumably. Also, this is going to be uh, an interesting experience. We are going to be battling at level 100 uh, for the entire season. Uh, something that I haven't done in a very, very long time, but we're going to run with it and see however that works out. All right, I got the Delmize calcs pulled up. Of course you do. Let's show us the giggle with baby or the Rotom. I'm thinking Rotom is my uh, that's my best guess. I think here. Persian is super likely. I don't know what that's gonna be. It, yeah, there uh, is the Persian. Okay, okay. So, what's the plan on this? I don't know. I really don't want to stay in here, especially to give up the Lumberry. Uh, and we are freezing up a little bit, so we're gonna have to deal with that. But I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, Persian is problematic. Yeah, Persian's not the best. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we can, hmm. I mean, it's probably just gonna go for knock, right? It's gonna go for knock or parting shot, so. That seems what are we pretty likely. Okay? What are we okay losing an item? Probably either the Rotom or the Gastrodon. Yeah, I was thinking the Gastrodon. Gastrodon also takes nothing from this thing, unless it's like a special set. Okay, let's go for it. Um, also, Persian is, is is one of those mons that gets some r ridiculous amounts of coverage. I wouldn't be surprised if it got some crazy grass move, but I don't think it does. I don't think it does either. Beat up. Huh. This is interesting. Is it just like beat up plus the flinch item? It could be, but it but I mean it also lets us keep our item for for, for a round. So at the very least, we'll. We'll be getting leftovers back after this. Um, beat up does more damage than I would have expected. Obviously, maybe thought we were some kind of a sash lead. I'm not too too sure. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think beat up would have super hurt the Delmize, right? So, uh, um, yeah, this is a weird set. Also, I did not screenshot the team, so I want I want to do that right now before anything else. But um, beat up how? isn't even something you can calc. <laughs> yeah, no, it really isn't. Okay, so it's uh, so, like a sixty base power move, right? Essentially. Yeah, but I but I think it calculates damage based on uh the the base attack of all of the partner uh, all the mods in the back. I think that's how it works. You kind of um, just fire off a toxic here, right? I mean, I kind of want to sub, assuming that this thing would want to maybe switch out. Oh sure, yeah, that that makes sense. That checks out. Okay. Um, and yeah, they've already taken like zero time. They, they they've taken nine seconds to to, to take their first move. 
Um, yeah, beat up is also gonna potentially break our sub, so this is going to be pretty much a, a null turn for us. Although we will get a little bit of HP by just through the leftovers, but um, this isn't looking terribly profitable right now. Yeah, I think just the fact that this hits like six times makes it stronger than it should be from a Persian that realistically never does any damage. Right. But... Also, let's not try to worry about time too much. Kelly already said that if anything goes to time, we we finish on showdown. Are you just going to recover here? I did, yeah. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I really want to stay healthy on this. I'm, I'm also curious to know how many hits we take. Because, again, I'm, I'm pretty positive this move calculates based on, like, the attack stats of, of like, mods in the back. Or, or maybe I'm thinking of a different move, but regardless... I can look it up real quick. But regardless, um, I think... Yeah, yeah, so, so it only breaks sub on the fifth hit, which means we only really take damage on the sixth hit. Right. And, and we get back a lot through recover and leftovers. The, the the fact that this thing hasn't like switched up moves to to knock off makes me think that this thing could be potentially it could be scarf. choice banned. I mean, I'm thinking think? part of me is thinking scarf, but I'm not 100 percent sure about that. Oh, okay, sure. I'm just gonna fire off a toxic here. I think I'll try and count beat up damage real quick. Oh, wait, I, you can't I, do that. I think if this thing is choice, then then it's for sure. Uh, wow, I, I don't know, man. I thought for sure he would want to switch out. But as long as we land this toxic, then we can reasonably stay in here. Um, I really think that this thing is, is choice in some way. Yeah, so the user's attack stat is calculated for each hit. That was a Gen 5 change. The Oh, okay, okay. So it no, so it no longer works th uh, in, in the way that I just tried? Okay. Right, yeah, yeah. It changed in Gen 5. Okay, so okay. If it had 252 attack and it was just a physical dark type attack on our gastrodon and it was let's say jolly did you just go for earth power i, I click recover oh, okay can you move where these discord bubbles are going uh i mean at least <laughs> at least we're not, we're not taking animations into account because uh this should be pretty bad yeah. man this is so awkward i this is nothing what I expected this to be. Yeah, it's okay. But also, like, it sucks that we don't know anything about this Persian. I, part of me is, assumes that is that it'd be like no bulk or something, but I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, I think you just I, what do you just click recover here, or do you click? I feel like we sub. You could sub. I think sub's fine. Sub then recover. Man, part of me is super afraid that I miscal that that I miscalculated this, and and we're, and we're gonna not have enough to make a sub after this. But hopefully, we'll be okay. I just think it's 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 so crazy to me that they're, that they're not switching out. I think they're daring us to like over predict on like some kind of a switch out play, and and they're daring us to like switch out ourselves, pre over predicting the switch from them. Also, how much PP does Beat Up have? Because they've used a, a bunch. Uh, let me check. Beat up is six. Okay, beat up is sixteen. I thought it might have been like one of those eight PP moves, but uh, it's not. So that took us from what three hundred and something to how much is this doing each time? It's doing like thirty percent, right? Uh, well, well, like I said, it it doesn't break sub until the fifth hit. Right. But you I know, I, I mean, like I guess we're fine, but we just like. I, I feel like we're just burning two minutes of, of timer time for for no reason. Dog, I feel like, yeah. Okay, Is that so, how much time we've used? Two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. But also, fun fact, um, according to this, to a noble Persian, Gastron should be doing, like, half. With Earth Power? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's going to bring itself under half soon. But now, I think they're, they're way too overcommitted because... Now it doesn't make any sense to, to switch out um, to switch out after we're behind a sub, so they kind of have to like commit to hitting us a bunch. And, and don't get me wrong, like this stride is definitely could have done a ton of damage to our team if Gastron wasn't just like a goat. Oh, so the way beat up it calculates damage now is 
Base power per strike is no longer 10, but instead individually based on the attack base stat of the party Pokemon. So base power equals party members base attack divided by 10 plus 5. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was trying to say. It, it worked a little bit differently than what I thought, but um, but that's kind of what I had in mind. Right, right, right. But the damage comes based off of just the attack stat. The base damage of each hit comes from that. So the base damage of the attack is right. 10 anymore. Okay, right, okay. okay. That's weird. You can just trick or cover here, right? I mean, I I really want to get behind a sub in case something crazy happens, but I don't know. I think they just committed. To, I mean, yeah, you can keep subbing. It's fine. Keep alternating between sub and recover. This thing's just gonna die. Also, I really do want to check up on how how much we're doing PP wise. It's not what? Okay. Cool. I'm honestly blown away. <laughs> hey man, this is fine. I'm blo I, I don't understand anything that just happened in the last two minutes of, of timer time, dude. It's uh, it's whatever, man. This is this is the this is the sweet life. I mean, Gastron behind a sub is pretty good. Really they solid. Don't here. really have a fantastic switch into it. I mean, I mean, Gastrodon, and not Gastrodon, um, Reuniclus with, with Energy Ball would be super problematic, but, um, oh, sure. but, but no, honestly, the fact that the, the fact that Persian got chunked down this, or er, this much this early on is huge. Yeah. Also on Reuniclus, would we just toxic it to gauge if it was, uh, I mean, magic guard or not? I mean, I'm definitely not not against that play. Um, I, not gonna do I mean, I think it's as good as most things we could otherwise be doing right now. Right. Um. I think. I. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this pretty much confirms energy ball here. So I think, it, man, at this point, I really do want to be up a full. So getting up a, a recover would be pretty huge. But if this thing is. Um, regenerator, then obviously toxic would be huge. Right. So how do you, so how, how, how do you want to play this? Um, honestly, I don't. Recover seems passive, but so does toxic. Like, because what if they just click a setup move here? I think you go for the toxic on the off chance that it clicks a setup move, and it's I don't know. That doesn't make sense either. Yeah, you can just click recover here. And I I, I I I might have misclicked. I clicked toxic. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think no. either of those plays are fine. Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's 50-50. I mean like I mean like um Regenerator does make as much sense as as, as most other things we could have done here. Right. I mean if this Reuniclus just goes for like iron defense, then, then I don't know what we do. It's pretty bad. But I guess we'll find out but man, it really does I really did want this this Gastron closer to full. But I think given what this Gastron has to deal with in this match, I think it'll be okay. All and right, I get now. Does it does the toxic do damage for whatever reason? My Discord bubble is like there. No, there it is. I think. Yeah, there there it is. Okay, so okay. it's not Magic Guard. It's Regenerator. Right. Okay, so that me that that leads me to think it's like. It, I mean, do you just want to switch out into the Obstagoon? I was gonna say. I think we go. I think that's too obvious or, to play, and I think we go straight in, into Jirachi here. What about Delmice? Oh man, I think Jirachi's so much better here. Okay, go Jirachi. I, go Jirachi. Because Jirachi resists the prison, like, yeah, yeah, because Jirachi can also Encore. Okay, I like this play a lot. Well, no, I, well, yeah, no, for sure that too, but also, he, I mean, they have to make a call, right? So, they have to make a call between Opposite Goon and Jirachi coming in. So, I think, yeah, yeah, there you go. So, I think no matter what, um... Now you just Encore, and then you switch into Opposite Goon. That way we get our burn up for free, right? That just I makes mean, sense in my head. I mean, part of me thinks we just try to U-turn in Obstagoon right now, try to bait in a Shadow Ball. Because I don't think that this thing is here setting up. I think, the, I think honestly, you can just, you I can think just honestly, and do the same play, right? Oh yeah, U-turn makes sense. They might switch. Okay, I like this play. Well, well, yeah, no, and honestly, I think it's just as likely that he that he tries to that he tries to click Shadow Ball here. And I, but I also think it's just as likely that this thing might be like a, a, a V Regenerator. Mhm. Mm I think that's fair. I mean, I was saying like on. I mean, to be fair, I I mean, I kind of did put us in a little bit of a risky situation because if they make some bananas call right now, then that could put us in a. Okay, thankfully. Okay, okay. No, yeah, yeah. This the the U turn made a lot of sense because the switch seemed like pretty likely. So you just go into Delmize on this thing, hundred percent. Potentially. It's like our best bet, right? Let me see like if we, we have brought any other Delmize. Options. 
We brought Delmines to be a delete button for Gigalith and Rotomosh. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, this this might be obvious, but I think it's I think it's honestly going to be our our best play. I don't know if I don't know if they would smell out a out, out a Lumberry, but Willowis seems so profitable for them just in just in general to to like go for right now. Do we have sub on this thing too? We can just click sub in the face of it, right? Uh, I mean. I mean that that kind of defeats the purpose of the because then he could just switch That's out fair. and then and then and then we can never catch this thing by surprise. That's fair. Like I'm predicting a volt switch into Hitmontop here, so yeah. I mean I think that's the line, okay. right? Like I mean, I mean yeah. It it ultimately doesn't matter as long as uh, our our, our lumber is intact and we're above sixty ish right. percent. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. And I, I forgot I was recording my face. I've just been looking down at the screen this whole time. <laughs> and 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 Power Whip should do massive damage to something. I mean, I mean this could honestly be like a Persian sack right now. I think. Oh yeah, I forgot Persian was still in the back. Yeah. Uh, cause like nothing, n nothing super comfortably comes back in. Cause like letting the Hitmontop get chipped down is, I mean, pretty bad. Pretty bad overall. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good for them. Him on top has to stay around to check Obstagoon. I mean, yeah, no, it has to do a, a number of things, like even against the Kyurem or something. Um, and he doesn't know our our our, our Jirachi set, but even like the the, the Jirachi is problematic for it. Right. The, uh, I, yeah, I think this should be the card. Yeah. Sack. So ideally, we land this. We do. Okay. Okay. We 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 land. Hey. So, so what does this allow in? What does this allow in? Um, it, they just don't have switches except for Hitmontop, right? Like everything else takes a ton of damage. I mean, what do we do against Hitmontop? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, out into. I mean, I guess Gastron is solid, but yeah, um, Gastron solid Rotom fan. But Rotom fan's pretty massive here, actually, right? Like Rotom fan is like a just but, like a little wisp. But Toxic is such an easy bring here, uh, and I really don't want to get certain mods Toxic here. So he's Technician. There's no Intimidate trigger. Oh, interesting. So does this thing get knockoff? Uh, I don't think so. I think I, I, I think the only like dark it gets is is um sucker punch. Sucker punch. Yeah, me too. Well, it might get throat chop now. Feels Maybe like that's that's possible. Chop. I'm checking. I don't know what we do here. Uh, yeah, it only gets gets brutal swing, sucker punch, and thief. thief I think is actually I, pretty spicy. I think Jirachi feels solid here. I think Jirachi doesn't feel solid. Oh well, yeah. I mean, if they go for Thief, it's pretty bad for us. But also, with the team that they brought, Jirachi really doesn't have to do much in this matchup. That's true. Yeah. Uh, Jirachi isn't really a check to many things, except maybe the Reuniclus. But even then, I think the 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 Reuniclus set is weird enough where it gets um, worn down over time with what we have here. Let's go for the... Brutal okay, slime. so he... So okay, this is going to be a lot. Wow, okay, that legitimately did more than I thought it would. Yeah. Well, it's because it's Technician, and this is a 60... It's basically like a 90 base power Dark move. If they so, have uh, Brutal Swing Sucker, we just die here if we Psychic. We do. Do we want to make a... Do, do we want to make a play? I mean, can we make a play here? Um, the only play that can be made is... I, th I, I think we just click Psychic and, and, and get into something. Yeah, okay. But I don't know so, what so we I go into. I said we should have gone into Rotom Fan. I mean, we really need to keep Rodan Fan healthy, though. Yeah, 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 but this thing's never doing much to it. We're super defensive. I mean, I don't have the Calca, but... He okay, withdraws. Right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, does that just confirm no wait, Sucker wait, Punch? Wait, 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 Yeah, it confirms no Sucker Punch, 100%. But what would this set be? Because... Brutal Swing, I Well, no, punch. honestly, I think that kind of confirms... Uh, Rapid that, that, Spin. That it's like a Toxic set as well. How much damage did that do? Uh, like twenty-ish. Twenty percent. Okay. But but I also wasn't paying attention to whether or not it, it um. It uh. I'm just gonna click energy ball. Yeah, it's not gonna do too much. If that did twenty-ish, it's gonna do like thirty-five percent. 
But I, I mean, also, I mean, I also think he, he clicks rocks here, and we encore it into it. So I don't. I that's fair. Because I mean, like, I think he's. I, I think they're probably, they're probably just going to kill Rachi. Is my guess, but I definitely. It, well, no, well, no. I definitely think he has the throw chop, but I also don't think it matters too much if he does. Right. I think. I, I think we get a big chunk off on this, and and if it clicks Stealth Rocks, we we, we encore and then U turn. If it clicks Throw Chop, then we get Delmai's in and click the yeah, leaf. That's fair. Yeah, it gets a chunk off, hundred percent. But I do also just want to see. Um, I also wasn't paying attention enough to see if this was leftovers or not, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but, it was not. But this is still this still should be. Wow, that did really nothing. Goes for gravity. Interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, we can encore it into gravity, or we can U-turn. Yeah, do that. No, no, no. Encore, encore, encore. I mean, 100%. but but he can really freely go into. Oh, this thing is smooth rock, of course. But he can really freely make his, make the play into into Exodus right now, or Kenny. I don't know, Kenny. No, no, not with showing energy ball. Exodus special defense is garbage. Fair, fair enough. I mean, I mean, this is I, a, this is like a more risky play, but I think. Oh, well, you, you got. Yeah, it. no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's okay. We've got we've got uh, checks in the back. Do we? Yeah, we've got the Rotom fan. We're, we're under gravity. Oh. Oh. Well. I think we let... I, I think we let our Gastron take too much damage. If this thing is banded, then I think it just... Like, Gastron just goes down. Well, we still got the Delmise, though. If it's banded. We do. We do. I guess, yeah. I, although, I feel like Swords Dance here is super duper free. Let's go for the... Let's go for the... Uh... Okay. It's life orbed. Okay. So... If it's life orb... Which means that Shadow Claw... How much is Shadow Claw doing? We should theoretically take a Shadow Claw. Okay. From from Adamant Life Orb. Um, what's Gastrodon looking like as well? Does Gastrodon even even check anymore? It does not. It definitely does not. Um, but this is a really free Power Whip though. Well, yeah, I mean, we just have to land this. Like, honestly. Yeah. It's interesting because, like, he definitely has us in a bad spot with, with this gravity sand setup, but Delmai should always be the answer here. So, I don't know. I don't see any way that Life Orb... Because, okay, Adamant Life Orb, Shadow Claw... Um, Adamant Life Orb Shadow Claw maxes out at 200 and 265 points of damage, and we're at like 280 yeah. something, I think. And that's and that should be the best way he has to hit us, unless he Iron Head flinches us. Also, what's our Gastron on that? Yeah, he just draws. It's at like right around like I think 55 ish percent. I think it's a roll then. Uh, not one this that's gonna hurt. Not one that's good for us. Right, right, right. I think we have to. We're under gravity. I think you just have to go under Rotom Fan here. Oh wow! And we go down to two hundred sixty-five to two sixty-five exactly. Um. Hmm. I think I think we just go into this thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think you have to go under Rotom. We're under gravity, like. It, we're not keeping this healthy as long as. Uh, oh, you know what? We were under gravity, so Power Whip couldn't miss. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's interesting. And then this is like the freest Willow of our life, right? I think it's a Volt Switch, dude. Do you? I mean, so you just out in the Excadrill. Uh, also, I'm not. 
I, I feel like this might be like the last turn of gravity. Yeah, yeah, literally gravity ends right now. Oh, okay. I mean, what does he have? What do they have in the back? What do they have left? Uh, Gigalith, Excadrill, Reuniclus, and Rotom. Okay, yeah, you can you can bolt switch here. That's fine. I would guess like a, yeah, I think that's I think that's fair. Keeping this thing around, they super want to check this ops again. This is yeah, no, for sure, like for sure, for sure, for sure. I don't. Just a f I don't even think it's like really an option for them to to let it go down. Um, sand should sand should end in like a turn, maybe two. Um, Do this could you be. Want to go th out back? This out could be obstacle time. time. Oh yeah, it could be. At the very least, get flame orb going. And he would have the hit on top to go into, but 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 that play we can always make to go into Rotom Fan. Right. It seems it, it, it seems as good as anything else here. Although it's I'm a good not time e to get the breaker in. I agree. Even though I'm not even 100 percent sure if we KO from this, this is about like 60-ish percent on 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 Rotom. Rotom wash if it's full fizz def. Are you talking facade or not? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was not a yes or no question. What? I said, are you talking facade or not? Like, what are you? Oh, or not? I thought you said or not. Yeah, facade. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, we need a facade here, but facade looks like a super uh profitable calc here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Facade looks good. Um, to to max defense. To to max defense Rotom, it should do like a minimum sixty ish, which is still not great because it looks like it's like right around sixty ish. But uh, this is just a yeah, th that's just go. a KO that we needed to get. That's that's super great. Yeah, that Sig that actually might have been a roll, but yeah, I, but, I'm looking at it too. It might have been, but I it's it but we made on it out alive. Way. Also, hit Montop comes in. What do we do? We just, just going to road them, right? Yeah. Uh, then, then they could double. If Gigalith comes in, because the Gigalith is special, like as some kind of specially defensive. So close. Oh, I keep setting these to a uh, fifty. Close combat. Yeah, no, I do. Would, I, I, would I do that too. Kill. It's such a force of habit now. What's this thing at? I can't really see. My head is in the way. I can't move the Discord bubble. Hang on, hang reason. on, hang on. I need to see if uh. That, I mean, again, that, that looks right around 60-ish percent. Okay, close combat. From... Close combat minimum is like 65%, if it's specially yeah. defensive, which I'm th I think we're, we're assuming it, it is. It has to be. Yeah, it has to be. It so, would have taken way more from Energy Ball otherwise. So we do it? I think so. Okay. We're down to under two minutes on, on land timer for, for each of us, but this needs to KO. Okay. That's, that's a massive KO. And and that, 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 that keeps gravity off the field. That's huge. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a massive KO. That's such a big, that's such a big fell. That's huge. What? Yeah, that's insanely. But big. but it, it is problematic because now Rotom Fan has to deal with both the both the extra drill and the and goes it goes straight next drill. It has to deal with both the extra drill and the um and the other thing the. Uh, Hey, Bone Top? He, can he even? Yeah, but I think it's mostly fine. I think here's where we sack Gastrodon. Yeah, well, I was yeah. also going to say, like, I'm not even sure he can go for Earthquake. So, I don't know. I feel like he could just end up taking, like, extra life orb damage for no Extra reason. life orb damage? Yeah, you know, and and if even if all this does is, is, is stall out sand, then I think we just win after after sand ends. Right. Yeah, Those for the so Iron exactly. Head, yeah. This is a lot of damage. But it's enough where we could potentially go into Rotom now. If if you wanted to make that play. I don't know if you I don't know if you're about that play, but Oh no, I'm super about that play. 100 percent You wanna go straight into Rotom? Yeah. Okay. Because because then we go back into that then we for sure go back into Gastrodon and it and at that point it, it doesn't even matter. As as long as we continue to solve turns. This should be like three turns down of sand. Right. Um Okay. Well, honestly, in this turn, I think you can, you can just go for Willow, right? Like nothing's stopping you. I mean, Rock Slide potentially, but I don't know. It's not gonna kill. 
I don't know. I I, I honestly right, I'll think count, I'll count, I'll count. No, no, I'm I'm on it. Uh, so so, so no, I keep I keep putting it to, to level fifty, but uh, just as a force of habit. Okay. Um. Like they for sure have rock slide, hundred percent. Uh, where is Rotom Fan? Okay. It does fifty-one to sixty percent. If max attack Jolly. It it maxes out at at one hundred and fifty-six points of damage. So yeah, you're you're right. We we click it. I mean, even if adamant, we live. I we mean, we just we just have to not get flinched. And oh. connect. Oh my god, that is super scary. Okay. Okay. And okay, is this thing's life orb? That's it. That's it. That's the biggest I mean, threat down. Him on top is still a huge, huge issue for us. I mean, kind of. It's never gonna like. It's mock punch is never gonna kill like one shot Kiram. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I, as I was talking, I, I, I had that exact same thought. So now I think we can. Do you just now, go on Gastrodon? Yeah, now I think Gastrodon. we can. We can actually sack off Gastrodon. Actually, maybe, well, maybe that I wasn't the play. Even... Maybe that wasn't the play because if, if we just sacked off Rotom, then then Gastron comes in freely and Gastron can potentially recover up if we. Yeah. I made well, a misplay. I definitely made a misplay. Rock slide. I think Rockside's gonna do too. I think okay. we're gonna live live an earthquake after the lefties too. Um, do you think we risk it here? Yeah, you just click recover. I'm pretty. I, I mean, I let, well, let me count. Let me count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's be sure. It's. Let's give this thing the burn. Yeah, it does twenty six to thirty one percent. We're at one forty eight. Uh. Shit. Wait, this doesn't look right. How is this doing this much? No, yeah, we live. Go for sure? it. Yeah, we okay. live. All right, I'm gonna recover. We're at forty-one percent. Earthquake should never kill. Uh. Uh. Oh fuck! This is too stressful. I don't like these stressful rolls. All right, but, but you Just know, click recover again. Uh, yeah, no, for sure, for sure. How much, what are we doing on time? <laughs> uh, I think we're doing okay on time, uh, especially because this extra draw is almost down. I think we have like a minute left. Yeah, we're literally like at a minute. Okay, jeez. But like, we're both at a minute, so I think that's kind of wild. But this should mean that, that this, that this extra draw goes down reasonably soon. Right. And then, and then hit on top never, never does enough damage to us, and we have to stall out Reuniclus. So, so we're gonna go to like showdown or time anyway. But we should always beat the Reuniclus now that it's, now that we know that it's AV and toxic. Right. Do you just recover again, or do you earth power here? I think you need earth power here. I, I think we sub here. No, I'm kidding. That's that's mostly a joke. Okay. Um. Earth power. I don't know. Do you want earth power? Yeah. Just like get it out of the way. That okay. way, it's like one less thing we have to like deal with once. Okay. Uh, so on showdown. Iron. Oh my God, Ironhead. Okay. Going for flinches. He really is though. Um. But yeah. Okay. So so we we get the KO to Gastrodon, which is important to me personally. <laughs> Getting Gastrodon and KO. Yeah. All right. So think about this. If he goes down to Reuniclus, what do we do immediately? Um. To try and save time. Part of me says we stay in. Oh yeah, because it's toxic. Well, no, we That's could funny. also we could also try to deal damage with Kiram. But no, it, but no, it's potentially AV, so I don't think that's ever too profitable here. I think I think honestly, we sack off Rotom. We sack off Rotom to get in Delmise. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Make play. And then, yeah. Yeah, I want to see what we're doing to a... If he goes for Trick Room right here, this is problematic. Oh, that's actually, yeah, pretty bad. I well, no, I, I'm, I'm almost positive this, this thing is AV. Okay, it's not AV. But it is under Toxic. It is. I think it we're is. fine. It, de it, it, it definitely is. But does this thing have Energy Ball? That's the, that's the real question. Uh, just click Air Slash. It doesn't matter. Uh, let me see here. Okay, what if this thing has Shadow Ball? This thing has gravity. 
<laughs> what does that even do? Is this just conceding or like what does this do? I don't know. So it has gravity, trick room, side strike. Oh, side hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Gravity allows gravity allows him to land focus blast better. Yeah. But that means that Re Delmize just kills this thing if he's focus blast. Just go for another air slash. Oh, you're right because go down. because then it's re revealed its, its entire move set. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And oh, if it's shadow but this is side shot. Then... Please take this. No, fuck. Okay, I really wanted. It's... Just because we were max uh, fizz up, I really wanted to take that. But no, yeah, it's fine. Well, no, we know it's. I think it's legitimately showed us its, its entire set so far, right? Well, no, we're, we're assuming focus blast. We're, we're, yeah, we're assuming focus blast. If it's shadow ball, then Obstagoon just kills this thing. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. So, like, either way, we can stack Delmize here and be fine. But also, gravity doesn't make a whole ton of sense if it's, uh, if it's not focus yeah, blast. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Well, I guess just for Rotom Fan. If Rotom Fan and Weezing were big, okay, yeah, that's insane. Man, can't I just I've, on top of it. What? Was that a crit? A crit! Yeah. It's a crit! Oh my god. But no, Tri Trick Room should be ending this turn, right? I think now Kirim just wins. I think... I don't think Trick Room ends this turn, does it? Go into Gastro. I really... Okay, if you think it does, then go go into it. I didn't think it did. Wait, no, It'll because... Focus blast either well, no, be yeah, yeah, no, do it. Yeah, no, because... Uh, um, uh, turn to Gravity, turn to... Um, Turn to gravity, turn to Psy Shock. Was there a third turn in there? Fuck. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty know. sure it's not over. I don't know. I could check in the in, in, in the info screen. If it's not, I'll go directly into Gastron, except we're gonna run out of time. Which sucks. There's one turn to Trick Room left. Okay. Fuck, fuck, Just fuck. stay in. You're gonna live a focus blast. You're gonna Oh, well, never mind. Well, I guess it dies to Toxic this turn anyways. Well no, but we don't live a Focus Blast and 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 mock punch and Oh I don't, true. And yeah. I don't want the Kirim to go down. Yeah, that's fair. I messed up. I really did think. I fucked up. It's okay. I was pretty sure we were on turn four. But it's okay. Also, Gastro probably just walls this thing. Well, I think I, I, I think this last turn Reuniclus stays up. I think it goes yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, for sure it's dead. So who gets that KO? Oh, oh no, that's Gastro on KO. Hey, look at that. <laughs> and it's just yeah. him on top left, right? I'm pretty positive, yeah. Yeah, so this so, is game. So, so I think we can lock in Earth Power and get this under time. I think so too, yeah. <laughs> Gastrodon with the three kills. Yeah, for real. That is... Man, I told you. I told you Gastrodon was going to be the wave. No, Gastrodon... Okay, it was a, it was a good call. It was a super good Endeavor. call. Endeavor! There's that... no way this kills. Oh, wait. That just brings you down to there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah no. But that... I was thinking reversal. But that's super... That's super dope. I, I I like that a lot. But um, yeah, no, Gastron legitimately with three kills. And um, under time, like four seconds left. Holy. <laughs> and legitimately, two two minutes of clock went went out straight out the window because of because of the uh, because of the first interaction between Persian and and right. Gastron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess that's gonna be it for week one. Uh, that was a wild matchup. I. <laughs> Like so few things happened that I would have expected to happen. Um, that him on top was legitimately a lot scarier than I thought it would be. That Persian was a lot scarier than than I thought it would be. Gravity was was huge, and that Reuniclus just threw me off. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, that'll be it for week one. We'll be back with more weeks of the TBL. We will Thanks be so all much. We will be I'm alternating sorry. channels, so uh, check out Josh's channel as well. But uh, <laughs> I will be back with more weeks of the AP Academy with um, the UBL playoffs should be uh, on the channel really, really soon, as well as more weeks of the NCP Nimbus Division. Um, but that's going to be it for me. Thank once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out. Thanks.